Hello everyone, welcome to Hippo Dairy. My name is Lingam. Thank you for watching this video. This is part 3 of the series. We are discussing about creating a pagination control in WPF facing MVVM. So in this uh, video, we will see how we can create the view model. Hello, welcome back to the next module. So, so far we have seen two things. In the first video, we saw how to create a model. In the next video, we saw how to create the view, which is obviously the model and the view. And the next part remaining is the view model. So in this video, we will see how to create a view model and then we will wire up everything. We will just try to bind them together. So let us start with that. So let me start with a new class, view model. I already created two folders. So let's call it as view model pagination, obviously. Well, let's call it as public. Okay, so now that we have our view model, we need to define what are the items that are required for this. Oh my God, I made a major mistake. See, where am I creating it? I should have created it inside of our helper control because that's what we are going to use, right? My bad. Ta-da! See, I have made a pass and I have created it here. Okay, so we need to start with uh, a view model right contain properties. And then it will obviously contain commands. And then we will have something else command methods because each command is going to have its own method so uh, in the beginning of the series I clearly said that this video is not going in depth inside uh, MVVM so I assume that you people know about relay control if you have no idea about relay control I am planning to make another video in the future but as of now relay control is nothing but a sort of a delegate I'm sorry, relay, it's not relay control, it's relay command. You can use different packages. There is one package which I have created. I call it as Haley. Haley as in the Haley little dragon from uh, American Dragon J Clown. So this is one which I have created. But you don't have to use this because this is still in development stage. I am using it for my personal projects. But there are a lot of, lot of better uh, controls like MVVM cross. This is like being used by more than two points on for million people. So you can go with anything. As of now, I will use this MVVM. There we go. We got it. We got uh, MVVM, Haley MVVM, but uh, you don't have to use Haley MVVM. You can use anything you want. Uh, and uh, if you would have remembered uh, in a previous video, I explained about creating the change notifier model. So all these kind of change notifier model and uh, relay command, observable collection, most of the items which we frequently use uh, are put inside this uh, Haley MVVM. It is just like a pack of uh, different uh, classes which are used for frequently. So in case, uh, where did I do that? I again made a mistake. I put it here. My God, I'm tired. Ta-da! Here we go. We have it in the helper controls now. So uh, in the first video, we saw about this uh, change notifier model, but that was just to explain how it was working. But I don't need it anymore because now I'm going to use my NuGet package. So which is inside models. Okay. I have the change notifier model inside my MVVM package, which is Haley package for MVVM. I have like a couple of uh, different models inside this MVVM. So I'm going to use it uh, the same here. And using Haley.flipper.mvvm models. And I will also use flipper.mvvm.interfaces, but uh, maybe we might not need it, but just in case. So, first we need a command. Let us go back to the view and see what are the commands that we might need. See, uh, first thing is previous and next. What happens when you click previous? When you click 
uh, previous, it goes to a different page, which means that we are basically changing the page. So be it previous or next, whatever you do, it is only changing the pages. So which means that you need a command which will change the pages. So prop, I don't need full prop command. Oh my God, I made a mistake again. So you need a command which is system dot windows dot input, I believe. Let's try again. Prop like command, yeah. So this command, let us call it as command change page. You might see that I have been using a snake case. Snake case. When I say snake case, it is nothing but uh, different words small case and then I have underscore that is snake case I use snake case for my properties and then I use camel case for my methods so I follow some procedure which is not good obviously methods and region so let's start here I will have one private method which will be called as initiation initiation okay so when the <clears throat> pagination is loaded we call that initiation it's showing okay underscore okay there we go so we need to okay this command change page the property the basically this commands when i say command it's not just command it is command properties we are saving the command as a property and this command property we are going to define as a new flipper delegate command you see this is why i have used uh, mvvm flipper mvvm so it's like basically a delegate command uh, before the end of this series i will just show how the delegate command is set up or maybe i will do one thing i will show it now so there we go. Uh, this is Haley project. I will go and open the flipper model. See, uh, this is what we have seen in the first uh, module, uh, which is basically the change notifier model. I've just defined it here. And then we have delegate. This is delegate. Delegate means nothing. Like as the name suggests, you have a particular work instead of if you are not going to do your work and you are going to ask someone else to do the work, that's what delegate. Uh, pretty much like a manager, like your manager will not do any work. He will just ask you to do the work. That is the executive decision. So they just ask you to do their job. That is delegate. So if you ask someone else to do your job that's delegate so that's what we are doing like instead of running the command there we are sending it to this flipper delegate command to just process it like or else what we need to do is like all the methods whatever we have written here we need to process uh, like we need to create it for um, every single property that we define like imagine like uh, setting up a whole uh, class specifically for a method like for changing page you need to set up a class something like this and then you say like where are my pagination okay here uh, when you say here we are saying uh, command change page is equal to new flipper delegate command instead of doing like this you need to create a new class the class will be like uh, this flipper delegate command and then your class will be like a uh, uh, change page command and then you need to define everything so it's it, it's it becomes tedious going forward so that's the reason why we have this uh, relay command or delegate command so it's been called relay command uh, globally like many people call it as relay command but uh, I just want to call something that's reasonable for me like I see that it is a delegate command so I'm just calling it as delegate good so let's go back to pagination so if you don't want to be confused about this or if I see most of the people watching this video might already have an idea about relay command and everything so if I'm going to explain about very little things Please don't be angry or mad at me. This is for people like me who have started from scratch. Like I started from scratch and I didn't know what was relay command. Like it took me at least a couple of weeks to understand about everything. I'm a slow learner, of course. So the flipper delegate command, you need to give a method. Let's call a new method. And then we say um, change page method. 
and then see when i when generally when we call a method we put this uh, close bracket the two brackets but we are not going to call the method we are going to delegate it so we just leave it at it and then we say null null means like we don't have to check anything like um, whatever it is just execute it and then we create a uh, 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 control dot and enter okay there we go so this is the initiation and then this is our command method so what happens here is when you start the pagination and run this command this takes some parameters and sends it here and we get it here okay let it be whatever it wants i'm going to throw the exception just in case if there is any exception so that's it this is how we create a command now the next step is to bind this command to the uh, view but before doing that let us go back to the view and see like is there something else that we need mm -mm -mm. okay as of now that's it we will click previous and then we will see the previous page next and see next page and then we will enter the value here and here and then guess change that. and then we also need one more thing like we need a calculation like people should send some data like all the properties like basically we need pagination model we are not getting it here because we are not referencing it though. so using this project is helper controls dot models so let me do it again prop full see this kind of uh, snippets prop full prop uh, prop dp these are all uh, snippets which are already inbuilt in visual studio so you might have known this pagination model and then let's say this is my pagination and pagination so when this property gets changed just notifying it and then we need to have one more method just like how we have initiation you also need to have one more method uh, this is uh, you can do it in different ways instead of doing it there you can give it in the vm pagination you can give a pagination model like uh, we can say like uh, to start it we can have pagination something like this so when you open up a pagination you give it i generally prefer a different method called uh, i'll just show here public void seed i just use this method seed in all my projects so that like uh, it doesn't get too much uh, cumbersome in the vm page like the main uh, class constructor so I will just have a method where I will give the different properties. The reason for doing that is when you set the pagination, this becomes a one-time event. Like you cannot change it again. Again, you might need another method to change pagination. So it's better that you put it here. So every time you need to change some data like basic or all the data, you can use the same pagination and then you can see different models. So here pagination is equal to pagination. So that's it. We have created a simple view model and then we have created a method and we have used uh, Haley Flipper and we have created the pagination model. That's it. So that's it for this module. So in the next module, we will see how we can bind this to our view. It's time for recap. So in this video, we have seen how to create a view model. So view model is basically the core item which contains all the properties and methods which will be bound or bind directly to your view. So we have also seen one more thing which is like using a NuGet package. So you can use any package you want but in this video I have shown about a Haley Flipper MVVM. Like the Haley MVVM NuGet package is created by me. I am doing this as a side project. So I'm using it. So this contains all the change notifier model, delegate commands, relay commands, observable collection, dictionaries, like pretty much most of the frequently used items are put inside it. You don't have to use Haley Flipper. You can use anything else you want.
The next thing that we saw is like what is I command and how we are using relay command. Relay command is just a name. It's not uh, something that is inbuilt inside a uh, .NET framework. Uh, the one which is inbuilt inside a uh, .NET framework is I command. A relay command is something that just takes your uh, command and a command needs different methods uh, like you need to check whether you can execute that command and then if you need to execute what are the properties that you need or parameters you need to feed into it so this kind of methods or uh, executions are done inside i command but we cannot do it again and again so we are just using something called as a relay command which is pretty much the purpose is to delegate the command to a different class so that's why i am calling it as delegate command and i have put it inside the heli mvvm so that's what we saw the third thing that we saw is like using a seed method like whenever you initiate a new v model you are seeding some data so that's what we saw so these are the three things that we saw in this video in the next video we will see how we can put all the things together we can bind the view model to the view and then we will see if there is any logic needed or not. So all these things we will see in the next video. Thank you.